Mina bought a house out of college because she wanted to do something grown up. And we renovated that house together and we really, really liked doing it. So bought another house, renovated it, bought another house, renovated it. And then Mina said, I think we have a business. Uh, right now we're working on season five. We're going to be filming through the rest of the year and it'll be coming at you sometime uh, mid-2020. Fall is the time that people start coming inside and they realize, oh, I've been outside all summer and I've totally neglected the inside of my house. And you notice, oh, I need some paint or uh, that little trim piece that got banged up this summer needs to be replaced or this flooring is looking really sad. Let's put some new flooring in. And I think it's just because you're coming inside and you're realizing, I'm gonna have to look at this for the rest of the season. So if you're thinking of moving your renovation work inside, the first thing you need to think about is protecting your existing HVAC system. You can do that by closing the vents and covering the vents with specialty protectors. And if you're doing anything that's making a lot of dust, like sawing or cutting, move that either outside or as far from the vents as possible. And when you're done, get your ductwork clean. After a renovation, you definitely want to get a full inspection to make sure that your system is running efficiently. Get inspections at least once a year, but getting your AC checked in the spring and then your furnace checked in the fall is going to make sure that it's working when it needs to be and you're going to avoid major issues when the temperatures are at their most extreme and service people are typically booked up. Creating the perfect inside living environment um, is really important and air quality has a huge impact on the comfort of your home. There are a lot of external and internal factors that can affect your air quality. Outdoor, you've got allergens and pollutions. Inside, you've got pets, plants, um, and even building materials from projects. So a simple way to really improve your air is with the air cleaner, like the Train Clean Effects. It removes up to 99.98% .98 of airborne allergens from the air that pass through the filter, including asthma and allergy triggers in your home like dust, pollen, pet dander, mildew, most tobacco, uh, cooking grease, and even bacteria. They're economical and there's no filter to replace. You just clean it, you take it out every three to nine months and vacuum or rinse it, and they're certified by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. So you'll definitely notice the difference. Everybody's always talking about energy efficiency. And this is where you consider the SEER rating of an HVAC unit. SEER is for Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. And it measures how much cooling power you get for the energy you put in. It's like miles per gallon for a car. SEER ratings can range from 13 to 23. The higher number means the unit is more efficient. Replacing an old unit for one with a higher SEER rating can reduce your heating and cooling costs as much as 54%. A unit you might consider if you're in a small space in a colder climate is Train's S9 V2. It's Train's most efficient heating and cooling unit. It's quiet and has an industry-changing cabinet design that accommodates virtually any home. For really small spaces in a warmer climate, the quietest and most energy efficient heat pump is Train's XV19. It runs at the exact speed you need and automatically adjusts itself to avoid temperature swings. If you're looking to make a little bit smaller change, it's also going to be cost saving. I would suggest using the Train Connected Thermostat. To see all of these different options and to learn more, check out train.com slash residential.